Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Foot Captain's team number two dropped yesterday with some expected items and of course a couple of surprises, right? It wouldn't be a promo Friday without some surprises from EA Sports. And a couple of those included cards that were not leaked originally with Team 2 coming out. And there are some nice cards that were released. I think Foot Captain's Team 2 is a pretty solid W, especially with the hero cards, the hero captains that we had. I think these four hero captains are better in total than the ones that we had last week overall. But these are some really dope cards. Again, the Tim Cahill SBC yesterday was pretty dope. It required a foot captain's card, so that made some market movements happen a little bit. Um, and I want to talk about the market in general today because I'm very interested in will there be a little bit of a Saturday sell-off today potentially because people know that it, once again, or at least some people know, that uh, we are going to be having team of the season voting starting tomorrow on Sunday. So I want to take a look at that today on the video. Um, I bought a Jude Bellingham for 1.3. He is up. That is nice. And there were a lot of market movements. I think that Jude might have just sold as well. It did. GG's. But we did make some big coins yesterday, but a lot of the market, you know, just rebounded slightly. And then it's even down now a little bit into the evening. I don't know if that's going to continue into today, but I want to take a look at that and the other W content that we had yesterday as a part of the Foot Captain's promo and what we can expect today content-wise as well. So if you're enjoying Foot Captains, hit a thumbs up on the video and of course subscribe if you're new. Now the team that we had yesterday, the way that they were reacting on the market was pretty much how we would expect them to be, right? Again, you had guys like this Lacazette, who was probably is the one that I'm really mentioning is the most unexpected card from yesterday. Lacazette was not leaked at all, but what a boost. Four star, four star, high, high work rates, great stat boost, huge stamina boost in this card. Looks really, really meta. His first special card of the year. And it's a really solid item. Nice Premier League striker. W for EA Sports, in my opinion. Uh, but these cards, like we mentioned yesterday, were not their cheapest first hour by any means, right? Lacazette first hour was like 700, 800K. You can see now that he's 500. I think he was even under 500K for just a short bit. And now he's bounced back a little bit. But that's how it was for like the whole entire rest of this team. So if you're trying any of these guys out today, some of them have gotten really low uh, Saturday night heading or sorry friday night heading into saturday um lacazette like i said was down at like 500k flat he's now up a little bit i think that you'll see a few of these cards rise up into today not not all of them but a few of them i'm really interested in a betty pele i sold him at 1.8 mil as a really rare fluctuation but he was between like 1.5 and 1.7 for a lot of the day yesterday and now being in the one threes it's got me interested cordoba's really rare he's in the 900 what a cracked out card that this dude is um and also we're loving that the base version of Cordoba is now out of packs and he is up like 15k because of that so some big money happening all around if you made some of those investments earlier in the week then the rest of the team I think that this Boyata card it's actually kind of crazy if you look at the squad a lot of the cards that were released that are hype are kind of in the more expensive range right Henderson Lacazette and then the four heroes and then of course the extinct like major number one card out of this promo marcelo being extinct at 1.3 mil i don't know what ea was thinking releasing this guy's price max at 1.3 it should have been like 2.5 mil as a price max and then he would he would probably be on the market then but he is still extinct as of right now at 1.3 million coins and i really hope that ea does not take forever to upgrade this price and to, to get him on the market hopefully we have a price range update very very soon I want to see this guy on the market because this card looks unbelievable. I want to trade with him. I want to buy this card. I want to try him out. Again, we know this leak. Uh, we had known this week for like, what, a week now. But this is insane, insane, insane card. So 1.3 million coins is not doing justice with the stats that he has. The high, high work rates that they gave him as well. No more high, low or whatever he was. I mean, this is probably your best box-to-box -box midfielder in the game. One of your best left backs in the game. Shoot, I know some people are putting a hawk on this man. And they're wanting to play him at striker to get 99 shot power, 99 positioning. Like, look at that card with the, with the hawk. Like, <laughs> it's crazy. So this card you can use just about anywhere. One of the most versatile and one of the most hyped cards in this promo, of course, but still extinct. Henderson with a really nice card. High, high work rate change. Four star, four star. Really big pace boost. Really great card overall as well. So again, those are like the most hyped cards that are a part of this promo and they're most expensive, right? Henderson, Lacazette, Marcelo, top three guys. But then your lower tier of cards are pretty interesting as well. Boyata and Tadic are already in the fodder category. 
But I think this Boyata card is kind of sick. He's medium high work rates. He is six foot two. And he's got 91 stand tackle, 92 sliding, 97 strength, 96 jumping, really good short passing and long passing, honestly, for a center back. And 34,000 coins. I know his links aren't the best. That's an incredible budget center back uh, already released as a part of the foot cap. It's promo. Trimble is a solid card. Had Danovich, a Syriac keeper, Ward Prowse, 70K. I think these cards will still drop a little bit more this weekend. Um, but I, I mean, besides those, you know, lower tier cards in this team, I feel like this promo team is, is decently hyped. Not like the most insane squad ever. Um, I feel like the heroes are the more hyped uh, heroes to release this week, though. Like I mentioned, Robbie Key with the five-star weak foot upgrade, Joel Cole with the five-star skills, Cordoba with just the insane boost all around. Some people were asking me today, is this Cordoba card team of the season level? And I said, absolutely, it's team of the season level. The only thing that looks bad is his dribbling stat. But when you look at all of his stats, except for actual dribbling, he looks really, really good. So I would imagine this card is insane off the ball. And then when he, when he gets on the ball, his dribbling stat is what's kind of dragging down that overall dribbling number. But 97 balance, 88 agility, 90 reactions. Like this card probably is going to be insanely good in game. And he's going to be decently rare too. All of these uh, captain's hero cards are pretty rare, which is what you expect, right? The pack weight for these is is pretty low, like I was talking about with a Betty Pele. I think on the market right now, I know it's the dead of night, but he has he has three pages, right? Almost not even a full three, right? Two, two and like three fourths. So, you know, I think that some of these cards could rebound up a little bit today as people wake up today on Saturday and want to go out and try them. You might see a little bit of a promo fluctuation like we do sometimes, not every time, but sometimes with these cards. The only thing I'll be honest and we'll, and we'll continue talking about this here for a bit. The only thing I'm slightly worried about today is for a lot of the out of packs cards, uh, there was there was a nice market rebound yesterday, right? Since a lot of the brand new cards were really expensive, a lot of that mid to low tier um, went low, but then it rebounded back. Like Joao Felix went down to 400K, went all the way back to like 440, 450, but now he's back down to 400. My question is, are people finishing their weekend league and knowing that team of the season voting is tomorrow, which we'll talk about again on the video tomorrow, knowing that information, is this going to be a Saturday where a lot of people panic sell cards because of that? Now, prices, like we've mentioned, have gone up a little bit, you know, in the past couple of days because um, some of that, you know, hype for the content that was being released like monday tuesday wednesday of last week were really really insane days right but it slowed down a bit so I, that's why i kind of figured the market would bounce back up and it did um but now we're just at a point where we're wondering hey is this going to be a day where people finish their weekend league and they sell off on a lot of cards i wouldn't expect it to be a day with a ton of panic because again if you think about for the casual player of fiba 22 um, you know, they don't know about that team of the season info yet. And maybe unless EA drops a loading screen or something crazy like that, even then, I don't think it would have that much impact. Um, but this, again, we're talking about a weekend that is really soon before team of the season. So we did have a little bit of buyback this week. You know, as we take a look at some of the out of packs cards from maybe like one that comes to mind is foot birthday, Allen, right? Foot birthday, Allen was like 330 K at his absolute lowest earlier this week. And now he's back up to like 380, 390. And some of your fantasy foot cards have gone back up in value. Some of these types of cards have risen up a little bit. And that just has me wondering, is there going to be a bit of sell-off today? There, I would imagine there's going to be a little bit, um, but I, I don't think it would be too drastic. The only thing that would make it be super drastic is if people are like, OMG, TOTS voting is tomorrow, and there just all of a sudden is a lot of panic created for somehow some reason but i don't really expect that today maybe uh next weekend as the voting is ending and as foot captains is ending and it's like okay team of the season is really on the doorstep that might be like our time to see that last big piece of panic selling but we have to of course keep our options open and if we see a lot of panic selling today then maybe this will be one of the times to find low low prices on cards for out of packs items i just think it might be a little bit early for that, but we shall see. So that's kind of what I'm feeling right now on, on the market. I'm not really scared of a market crash. As you can tell, I have like half of my coins at the moment invested in flips. I bought some Liverpool cards. I bought a Royce before he went out of packs. Again, Royce actually went up like 30K, but now he's back down, right? And that's what has me just questioning a little bit. Um, is there really enough motivation for people to go out and still try cards on this game right now? Or is some of that hype endings? Yeah, you see Royce is like 400K. 
He'll probably go back up to like 420. Looks like he's pretty rare uh, right there. But even some of your heroes cards, your foot captain heroes from team one, like Milito is down. Milito is like 670, I think. Unless this is a crazy undercut. Flippin has him at six, yeah, 602. So that's not a crazy undercut by any means. I bought some Mario Gomez yesterday at 460. He went up to 500K and I think now he's back down. Okay, he's 49, so and he's super rare. That's why I love this card. But I think I'm going to try to cash a few of these out, take some of the quick flip profits that I had from yesterday, and just kind of move on from there and, and tread carefully through this next week in regards to stuff on the market. Now, speaking of the stuff on the market, I think prices during this next week are going to be impacted depending on the hype levels of content that EA released. And as of yesterday, EA's, I think they're doing pretty good with the, at least the first day of, of a promo Friday. They dropped some pretty solid SBCs, right? Usually promo Fridays are focused around cards and packs. This Tim Cahill SBC for me is a W. High, high work rates, 4-4. Four, four. And honestly, this guy can, you can use it in a lot of different positions as well. A lot of people have been saying, put an engine on this card, use him as a box-to-box -box center mid with that with the attacking prowess that he has but also solid passing solid dribbling and mediocre defending uh this card could pass for either a striker or a box-to-box -box midfielder with the work rates that he does have i think it would be it would be fun to put tim cahill in a two striker formation with weghorst and cahill as your strikers and try to cross the ball in all the time 99 jumping 99 heading i know it seems a bit sweaty but just to play a little bit different also 99 aggression I think I'm going to try to get this SBC done later on in the week. It's out for two weeks, so try to craft him a little bit. But uh, that, to me, is a W, right? A Heroes Captain card, Premier League links, green link to any Premier League card in the game. Not the most meta item, but it's kind of cool. Now, one interesting part of this SBC was it required foot captains players. And I don't know if any of you guys went out on the market and looked at some foot captains cards, but there was one item in particular that absolutely had a crazy rise right away when the SBC came out because people went out and uh is it Jonas Hector yeah that's the guy they were searching up this Hector card he was the cheapest item from team one of foot captains he went from 20,000 coins all the way to like 27 or 30k in that first like 10 15 minutes after the SBC was dropped and then of course he went back down as people set, started selling their investments and as the Cahill SBC is hype but not like the most hype SBC ever so that's why that card is back down let's be honest it's not that hard to get a foot captain's item if you want to turn it into that sbc you can play a few games here for the moine which is eight separate matches in the national knights i don't even know what this friendly mode is i hope it's not that hard but you can get a pretty easy card here i know a lot of you guys did player picks and it's not that hard to pack a guy like dubois or hector last week so you might have one of them in the club you might have already done stindle so you can get a foot captain's card decently easy that way. I would imagine there's more player picks coming out this week or upgrade packs that you could get one of those as well and put that into the Tim Cahill SBC if you want to do it. But speaking of other SBCs yesterday, we had a big boy icon moments SBC in Thierry Henry. And even though fodder is down a little bit, which might be contributing to this SBC being pretty cheap, this is again, hats off to EA Sports, great value great value on this SBC. It's basically coming in at just under 1.5 million coins for a Thierry Henry Icon Moments item that was 2 million coins before any leaks or any panic started for him getting an Icon Moments card. So a really nice discount here for this. Very craftable, of course. It's out for 90 days during team of the season. Going to be very craftable there as well. Also can't forget about marquee matchups finally being released yesterday early in the day and the Puyol SBC, which if you did not know this, this is pretty helpful information. I don't know if they've uh, fixed this or not, but EA added the wrong pack into the Rising Star SBC segment of Puyol. So make sure if you have 11 rare silvers in your club, go and do this because usually it only gives out a two rare gold players pack, but this one gives out a prime mixed players pack. So it's basically a uh, pretty good SBC to just go and do because like all these other icons, they only give out two rare gold players packs for those first two bronze and silver squads. So for Puyol, it's a big W uh, that EA made that slight mistake, I guess you would call it, uh, on the game yesterday. Now, I actually opened some player picks. I know a lot of you guys saved some of those as well. And I did end up packing a Pellegrini. So I packed a Pellegrini, not bad, uh, decent pack holder out of like, I think I had like, honestly, like 20, 15 to 20 saved player picks. It was nothing crazy. So I was able to pack one of those 
um, captain's cards from Team 2 off of the get-go, which was nice. Now, let's talk today a little bit more. I know we, we mentioned the market, maybe a few price drops today, not entirely sure how crazy it's going to be. I wouldn't expect anything too wild unless there's some sort of catalyst for panic. But I think we might be seeing another player SPC today, and it might be this mad lad of Pepe. I think if we remember last week, they went back-to-back -back days, and they usually do this. The Friday and Saturday, they drop player SBCs. Pepe is our most recent leaked card to be coming out as an SBC item. If he has these stats, this card will be insane. I would imagine that this SBC would be cheap. I would think it's cheap because he's a little bit of an off league, harder to link. There's There's been some love for Liga Nage this year. But again, just be cognizant of this card. A lot of people might go out and, and purchase out some of those uh, Liga Nosh links, Liga Portugal links um, because of this Pepe card and them wanting to try him out. Probably the most usable Pepe card that we've ever seen. So just kind of watch out for maybe some of your Portuguese links, some of your uh, Liga Portugal links as well. Might have a rise in price if this SBC is A, very good value, B, has a very good stat boost on the card and it has some hype then you'll see some of that stuff go up. Some of you guys might be asking, where in the world is Busquets and Payet? We talked about them. Well, here's our answer. In the mini release coming tomorrow on Sunday, Busquets, Payet, and Seamus Coleman are supposed to be the cards that will be put out during the mini release tomorrow. So that's when our Busquets will finally drop on the game. Um, so yeah, kind of an extra couple days of waiting for the Busquets card right there. But honestly, I mean, I have no complaints about foot captains. I really, really don't. I, I know it seems like it's taking a back seat to like even a little bit of the team this season content. Uh, and, and a lot of you guys might be like, yo, these cards are just very, very expensive, except for the ones that are basically fodder. These cards really don't interest me that much. And I, I get that. But I think that EA is just putting out some nice items for people to try out right now. And it's before team of the season when people are being very careful with their coins. Anyway, I, I don't have a problem with this stuff right now, man. Again, this Keen card with the boost that he got in the five-star weak foot, I got to give this guy a go. I know I bought a couple of them yesterday, but that card to me looks like just really, really solid. So I, I really don't have anything bad to say about this promo at the moment and about the cards they're putting out. I think they're solid. I think they're releasing them in pack weight that is that is decent. Nothing super crazy. These cards, the pack weight's actually about the same as last week with the Foot Captains Team 1 items. But the difference is... Um, and basically what it boils down to is that there wasn't as much saved up packs. There's a lot of saved up player picks, but those obviously don't supply those cards tradable on the market. Whereas, um, packs and saved up packs like we had last week with team one, those are coming out on the market tradable and that brings a lot of supply. So hopefully they update the Marcelo price range. Honestly, um, that's one of the biggest things that I would be loving to see on this game at the moment. Now, he's like incredibly hard to snipe if you're trying to snipe this guy. I honestly think this Marcelo, I'm kind of getting like a uh, flashback, or not flashback, I'm getting Winter Wild Cards Zlatan vibes with this card. I think that he is going to be worth more than 1.3 million coins when he gets uh, that price range update. His card would be very rare regardless, so it'd be hard to find. And just the fact that it's Marcelo's first special card of the year, he's very, very hyped. Um, I think he's worth probably somewhere around like the 1.7, 1.6 million coin range after a price range update, whenever that is going to happen. So if you're trying to gamble on one of those, I, I mean, I would just keep, keep a very, very close eye on the market and hope that that price range update comes very soon. But I would also feel pretty confident um, in, in the fact that he would be worth more than 1.3 mil whenever that price range update does happen. So that was kind of the content on yesterday. I mean, I think... For most people, it was one of those days where, okay, promo team looks pretty cool. Let me open up my saved player picks if I saved any. Tim Cahill SBC, not too bad. Again, I think it's coming in around 400,000 coins. Not the best, not the worst. A cool card for sure. So maybe some people went out and did this. But other than that, most of the hype yesterday, as it normally is on promo Fridays, was on the cards that are in packs on this game so um that's kind of you know there now one thing i'll say today is we have a very interesting weekend with the fantasy foot items because for a lot of these players this is their third league game so there's going to be a lot of players that will get upgraded next week because of games that they play 
this weekend. So make sure you're keeping an eye on these, these trackers. There's one on Footbin, I believe, and there's, of course, the big one here by Mr. Criminal FIFA on Twitter. Perisic yesterday, after playing in his third game for Inter, he's gotten that full, all-inclusive plus three. You know, Cali Aguri only needs a goal and assist in his next game or two. He's going to get that plus three. If Christian Eriksen plays in the game this weekend for Brentford, he's going to get a plus three, get that final plus one. So for a lot of these cards that you see, like two green squares out of three, that means they are one game away. If they play and feature and just show up and are playing in this game this weekend, if their team has one, if it's a league game, League game only. Again, for a couple of the players, uh, like I know Liverpool, City, um, just a couple of the teams, Chelsea and Crystal Palace are all the teams I believe that are in FA Cup this weekend. Those games do not count for these cards. So just be very careful with that. I know that will affect a couple of the items like John Stones. Um, it won't affect a game played for him because it's not a league game. But of course, for a guy like where's Lucas Mora, who's already got his plus two, he's behind my face cam up here in the top right. Lucas Mora right up here, if, if he plays and gets subbed on early this morning in Spurs Brighton, he's going to get that plus one to get the final plus three in total. So that's kind of what the, the hype is with the fantasy cards. And again, once that plus three is obtained, I think this next week on Thursday and throughout the week, especially in the next weekend, you're going to see some of these cards that have attained their plus three, especially on the market for some of these. I think you're going to see them lose some value because a lot of the hype, again, as we've seen with Road to the Final cards as well, is that the, the a lot of the hype is with the actual upgrade. So just be careful for that. Speaking of road to the finals, EA did the business and gave out some plus twos, man. Nobody believed us. Nobody believed us that they were going to give out plus twos, but that's what they deserved. And that's what they got. Mane with a plus two exploded in price yesterday after getting that upgrade. Um, Walker's over 500K. The Joe Cole card probably helps out his price a little bit uh, with that link there. And then... Um, Tiago and Mares also all got plus two. So GG's to EA. A lot of the other Road to the Finals that got updated actually went down in price. I think Gareth Bale was one of those. Um, and I, I, I literally think they went down in price just because, you know, again, like I mentioned, all the hype is in the cards for the upgrades. So when those upgrades go away, when the potential for more upgrades goes away, then you see the prices drop a little bit. So I might get involved right quick tonight with a Cordoba or another Abedi Pele. I did buy an Abedi at 1.31 uh, just because I thought that was pretty low. And I feel like he's getting really rare and he might bounce back up. So if I see another one of those really low, and if I were to see a Cordoba, like, I don't know, man, it's got to be 940 or maybe, 9, maybe 930. I think he's getting kind of rare again, bouncing back up towards... That 1 million coin mark, I think some people might want to go out today on the game and try out these cards. So I might put a few more coins into these cards, but I've got enough in them already where I might just be pretty careful and, uh, and, and just go on my Saturday and try to make a couple of quick flips and get out of these cards. But again, like I mentioned, I bought this at Betty yesterday. If you guys were on the Twitch stream, bought it at 136 on a snipe, sold it at 189 in a moment of rare um, this rareness on the market. So that was 429,000 coins of profit. That was a huge, huge W. That was the biggest dub from yesterday. A lot of these other ones were like, you know, I think 30 or 40 K profit on cold, 10 K profit on Diaz, bought this at one, three flat, bought this at 640. So some nice profits across the board. It was a good day to trade. There were a lot of market movements, but we'll see what happens today. We'll see if EA have any surprises for us with content as well. Again, we're going to get another icon moments, SBC, but who? is that going to be? Is it going to be one of the big boys? We'll have to see. So have a good weekend, lads. Hopefully you enjoyed uh, this video today. Have a good holiday weekend. We will have a video tomorrow night for the big day on Sunday with tomorrow being a lot of team of the season information. There'll be some more stuff to cover with that as well. And of course, whatever happens today on Saturday in FIFA 22. So if you enjoyed the video, leave a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate for the count and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.